Hi guys, hopefully you can see us, we're using a different form today. Um, I believe we are live now. Let's go for it. Okay, so um, if this is your first time joining in like this, um, then please make sure that you've read the waiver before participating. It's all on our main page. Um, it's all fairly self-explanatory. Make sure you're not going to punch your TV while you're doing this. Uh, make sure you've got space to train. Health conditions are okay. Ready, you know, you're okay to train. Okay, so we're going to start with um, circling off your wrists. This is just a beginner's class, so we're just going nice and easy. Change direction. Okay, anyone can do this. It's designed to push you a little bit. Okay, but it is suitable for beginners and kids. Kids can join in too. Whole family session. Okay, circle up the elbows. Change direction. Now, can you just check the timer? Uh, not the timer. Can you just check on Facebook and see if it's one of mine? Arms forward. Okay, so. Um, as you can see, it's just me today. We haven't got Mark because he is um, busy with the fire service. So he's on duty today. Change direction. Okay, we're just going to go really th through a really quick joint warm up. Is it live? Yeah. Okay, cool. We're good. Okay, you can just watch that one and see if there's any comments that come up. Change to, uh, you're going to do one forward, one back now. Just if there's any comments or questions or anything. Change direction, right then, okay. Now you're gonna take your feet uh, shoulder width apart, arms up nice and high, you're just gonna do two twists to the left, two to the right. Just gonna warm your spine up to um, try and help with injury prevention. Make sure you're twisting right round, now you're gonna go onto the ball of the foot. That's it, get a really good spin on there now. Two more. Okay, stop there. Now your feet are going to go two shoulder widths apart. Your opposite hand is going to come down to your opposite foot. Other hand's going up to make a windmill and you're going to change over. Really important to look after our backs and go through a proper thorough, thorough joint warm up. Okay, stop there. Come on then. Guard up, we're going to circle off the hip. We always keep our guard up for this. <laughs> always keep our guard up for this, um, for muscle memory. Now you're going to change direction. And then if you ever need it in self-defense, you're automatically going to a protective position. Change legs. You're going to circle off the other leg. The other hip. Nice big circles. And change direction. Just go for a couple more. Last one. There we go. Now you're going to circle off your knee. Change direction. Change legs. It's right, put it down. We've got a cat trying to photobomb us at the moment. Put it down because she's going to grumble otherwise. Okay, circle off your ankle now. Okay, it's just a joint warm up. Okay, going to get started next. Change legs. Right then. Okay, so we're going to change direction. Right then. So we're going to start with one and a half minute rounds. We're going to take it nice and easy. Your first combination, we are going to work on legs today, but as I said, this is just a warm up first. So we're going to go for jab, cross, hook as a combination. You're going to be bouncing on the spot like this. Guards coming up. Every time I shout, right. You're going to do a jab, cross, hook. As you're doing your hooks, make sure your wrist, your elbow and your shoulder are all the same height. Okay, as you're doing your jabs and your crosses, try and twist your shoulders, get a bit more, a bit more power into them, um, and keep your palm to the ground. Okay, ready? We've got time ready? Yep, yeah. yeah. okay, bouncing on the spot. One and a half minutes. Ready? Hey! Okay. 
Okay, eight, jab, cross, hook. Eight, eight, eight. Change stance. Eight, eight, eight. Jab, cross, hook each time. Eight. Keep moving, keep bouncing in between. Eight. Change stance. Same again. Eight. 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 Change stance. Keep 
breath back, shake those legs down. Let's open that door for me. Shake those legs out. Okay. Right then, next drill. Same again. You're going to go for a squat and a front kick, jab, cross. Okay. One, two, three, four. Technically, you haven't got a jab hand here because your feet should be square. So you jab if you've got one foot in front and one behind. Okay. Then this becomes your jab hand and this becomes your cross. Technically, we're going to call them jabs, I think, okay? So you're going for two opposite hands. So you're going down for squat, front kick, jab, cross, down, other leg, jab, cross. Okay, move and half. Yep, all right. Make sure you've got your breath back in between. Ready, let's go. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. Jab, cross, good. That's it, find the rhythm, keep that guard up. Whoa. <laughs> Remember, we're just going for belt height if you're beginners. If you've done this before, whoa, I can't talk and do two things at once. Right, <laughs> that's it. One minute. That's it, keep it going. Jab, cross. Kick. Squat, kick, jab, cross. Working those legs now. That's it, good. Keep it up. Let us know how you're getting on. And the emojis. Does it hurt yet? Just a beginner's class, remember. This is not too intense. It's just going to get you moving a bit. Fifteen seconds now. Last few. Woo! Right then. Shake those legs out again. Okay. Five more sit ups. Ready, go. Okay, right, let's go. Minute and a half. You need to open that door. <laughs> open the door. Right, okay. Next one. We're going to go, in fact, now I'm going to stop you there. Let's have a one minute timer. One minute. Yeah. Got it. One minute. Okay. I'm going to hold. Just hold for one minute. Okay. Ready? So that's down into squat. Ready? Go. Gives you a chance to bring that heart rate back down. Again, make sure your knees are back. Make sure they're not leaning forward. They must be over your ankles. Focus on your balance. Focus on your breathing. The slower you breathe, the faster your heart rate's going to come down, which is your recovery time. Okay? Should be starting to feel it down a little bit now. Okay, just hold it. It's only a minute, it's not long. Keep holding, go down a little bit lower if it's easy. Breathe. Breathing is key all the way through. Not long now, hold it. How long then? Um, five seconds. Five seconds! Don't stand up. Wait for it. There we go. Right, shake his legs down. Okay, next one. We are going for squat into a turning kick. Squat into a turning kick, okay? As you're doing your turning kick, Come down from there. You're turning your body onto the side. Okay, so your side on, you've got one shoulder pointing towards, and you're aiming to hit with the top of your foot. Okay? Just imagine you've got a target there in front of you. That's what you're aiming for. Okay? So bring that shoulder around each time. Okay? Right then. 
One and a half minutes for this one. Ready. Let's go. Squat into turning kick. Okay, you can see we're not working on speed here. We're just working on those muscles, getting those muscles stronger. I'm going to do some balance work in a minute as well. It should be enough though. Start feeling the burn. That's it, bring that shoulder around each time. Make sure you line up. As you bring that shoulder around, you're giving yourself protection. Okay? You're a much harder target when you're side on like this. Much easier target when you're square on. Much harder when you're side on there. Keep your guard up in between. That's it, keep it moving. Just a few more drills now. Just a few more rounds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. That's it, keep it moving. Okay. Five seconds now. Hopefully those legs are burning. Last one. There we go. Okay. Whew. Again, shake those legs out. Right, we go for five sit-ups. There we go. Right. Make sure you've got your heart rate back down. Take your time with those sit-ups. Try and get full sit-up motion in, okay? If, if you're new to sit-ups, and you can only come up a little way, okay, I would rather see going up a tiny bit and going back down than going up and landing on your elbows. I don't know if you can see that very well, but when you bend on your elbows, you're not doing it after any harm, any work, okay? So make sure you're getting a proper motion in there, even if it's short, you will get better the more you do. Okay, next round. Same that we've just done, okay? You're gonna do a squat and turn and kick. Your foot this time is gonna land in front of you for a jab cross, okay? So I'm gonna come a little bit further back so you can see that, okay? So squat, turn and kick, jab cross. And then you bring that leg back for the next squat, okay? So again, squat, turn and kick, foot lands in front, jab cross. This will get you in a good habit of, if for example you ever do ring fighting, you're covering more ground that way. You're kicking, you're going in with a kick, front kick or turning kick, landing in front, and you're covering ground, okay? Right then, minute and a half. Ready, guard up, go. Squat, turning kick, jab cross. Squat, turning kick, jab cross. That's it, find a rhythm. Obviously, I'm going, going at a beginner's pace. You don't have to, okay? If you're experienced, you can go a lot faster. Keep a rhythm. Whatever you do, keep a rhythm. You don't stop. Okay. I've got the photo bomb in the cat's going to photo bomb again. <laughs> We're just making it work, <laughs> like everyone. We're just getting on with work at home and making it work, okay? <laughs> Squat, turn and kick. Make sure you follow through that jab, cross, keep your guard up. Squat, turn and kick, jab, cross. I'll tell you if you're about to get the cap. Yes, please. <laughs> Mind you, she knows the risk. She knows the risk of being in here. Yeah. That's it, keep it moving. <laughs> Woo! Okay, right. 
Again, shake those legs out. Take water on if you need to. We're going four, five sit ups. Ready? This is your recovery time. Okay? Especially if you're going faster on the techniques and the drills. That's your recovery time. Okay. Deep breath in and up. And then and up. And then and up. Okay, next drill. Next drill. Same again, we're throwing on the jab cross. Okay. Let's make sure we're alive. One and a half minutes. Okay. So squat, turn and kick, jab cross. Okay. Ready? One and a half minutes, let's go. Turn and kick, jab cross. Bring it back, man. Squat, turning, jab cross. Squat, turning, jab cross. And set, keep it moving. Find that rhythm. Make sure you bring your foot back each time. Turning, jab cross. That's it, good. That's it, keep it moving. Keep it moving. That's it, not long now. You may think we're going slow and that this is easy, but for beginners, okay, this is tough enough. And everybody has to start somewhere. All black belts start off as white belts, okay? The only difference is they did not give up, okay? They just keep going. They don't listen to that head and that voice in their head that's telling them they can't do it. Okay, we all have them. Maybe we've all got those voices, okay? But you just got to keep, keep pushing on, keep persevering. Show your legs out again, okay? We're going for five more sit-ups, then we're changing the drill. Ready? Together, go! Is she on the screen? She's not on screen, you can't see her, but she's right in front of me. Right, you're gonna have to go. Oh, well, you're gonna get kicked. Oh, no, she's gonna. Okay. My kitty. The joys of life. <laughs> right then. Okay, this time, preferably you're on a carpet. If you're not, make sure you've got a cushion. Go and get a cushion, put it under your knee. Cushion, a pillow, just a bit padding, okay? So next one. It's good self-defense practices, okay? So you're coming from your, your knee. The guard's coming up, okay? This one's gonna beast it. I'm gonna finish those legs off, hopefully, okay? So from here, you're gonna push up, front kick, straight back down. Front kick, straight back down. Okay, we're gonna go for five. And then five on the other leg. Okay. It's last drill now. Last drill. Okay, and then we're gonna do a few holds. Right then. Um, Ready. One and a half minutes. Minute, one and a half minutes for this one. Okay. Ready? So have everybody down in that kneeling, kneeling position. Guard up. Ready? Go. Okay, again, like I said earlier, if you're new to this, aim to kick at belt height. Try not to kick your belt in your face, <laughs> okay? If you've done this before, you're aiming to go higher. Okay, so that's five on one side, change legs. That's it, make sure you don't lose your balance in between. There we go, keep it moving, change legs. So we go. 
We'll get through these ones quick. Yeah, I'm going to finish off with a couple of holds. Okay. Ooh. This is hurting those legs now. Ready? Go. Everybody else getting tired? Those thighs are hurting. Ready? Go. Minute and a half is no time. Okay. It's a lot of rounds. Go for a minute and a half. Okay. But when you're in the ring, whew, you get tired out a lot quicker. Right. Okay. Last one. We're going to finish on. I'm just going to check the time. The time is oh, half past. Right, okay. No, I'm not going to do those holds then. We run out of time to get the balance working. Okay. Whew. Right. We're going to finish off with some stretching and balance work. Okay. Nice deep breath in between. In the nose. And out through the mouth. Okay. I'm going to start with rising kicks. Work those legs quite a lot now, okay? So rise and kick. You're coming from the back leg, your guard's up. You're going to swing that leg nice and straight. Lock that knee out, don't bend your knee, okay? As I said, if you're new to this, you're going for belt height. The aim is to pull your muscles around the back uh, of your leg, stretch them out, okay? So pull your toes back. If you're new to this, go higher. Okay, let's go for 10. Keep that leg straight. It won't do a thing if you bend it. Lock that knee out. Change legs. Okay, right then. Same again on the other leg. Pull those toes back. If you're new, make sure you're just going for belt height. Okay? Unless you're very flexible, in which case, aim high. Okay? today okay hopefully that's got a bit of sweat on okay it certainly has in here uh, make sure you take loads of water on rehydrate yourself properly that's really important one thing I've noticed especially since training during lockdown is if I don't take care of my general well-being now my um, performance changes dramatically okay so if I go into a training session and I'm not fully hydrated well, if I haven't had um, like good nutrition, nutritious wholesome foods, like or I've got enough sleep as well, that's another one. My performance is massively affected. Um, so just be mindful of that, especially seeing as it's Friday. Okay, people will be ordering takeouts. Um, so just just be mindful of kind of your whole your whole self, like a, as a holistic approach. Don't be just thinking like from one angle, like oh I can't eat that, I can't eat this. Just think about what you can do, okay? And again, with this, if you're comparing, you must never compare to like somebody who's been doing this a lot, a lot, for a lot longer, okay? Or anybody who has um, been training in any kind of exercise. It takes practice, okay? So don't compare yourself to anyone you see on screen here. Make sure you're comparing yourself to what you could do last week or a month ago, okay? And, and you will start to see improvement. And I, I would have thought. You'd see it a lot faster than you actually expect. Okay, nobody, hurt. nobody like really enjoys the workout when it's when it's really tough and it hurts and it burns and you're sweating. Okay, nobody enjoys that. But what you will find is the more you exercise, the more your endorphins rush afterwards, and the more you get a kick out of that. So um, that's that high, you know, that buzz that you feel after training. It's it's worth it. It's worth putting the work, the work in. Okay, if you want to go. Um, if you want to start working towards your grades, 
So again, for you, if you're a brand new student, you're going, you want to work towards Red Belt, then we've got online programs for that, okay? Because we are, um, we've taken all of our classes online. We've got syllabus training. We've got four classes going out weekly. You can sign up as a family because we have junior classes and adults classes. Um, this week, quarantine has set in, okay? So yesterday's session is, well, we're starting to do themed sessions. So yesterday's session was Harry Potter. Two weeks ago, we had Marvel. We're just planning the next one. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet, but um, so maybe we'll do a poll on that soon. I think we've got somebody in the room who is probably going to be voting Hobbit. Okay, but we will, those, those sessions in particular are really, really fun. Um, and it takes your focus away from training, you know, from doing 20 press ups when they really, really hurt. Okay, so um, get your head in the mindset. Okay, that will, that's the one thing, like if you can overcome your belief in yourself um, into doing any exercise, then you're halfway there. Um, I used to hate training, I used to hate PE when I was at school. Um, and now I love it. So, well, it's a love-hate relationship, <laughs> like running, but you know, you will, you, you will see improvement, you will see developments. Um, most people start training because they want to lose weight, but actually, when you start to realise how much stronger you feel, then you start to really reap those benefits, okay? So, um, and that's so much better than losing weight, when you realise that you can run up the stairs without, without getting out of breath, okay? Just little things like that. So, um, yeah, so we've got online training programs. Obviously, we will be here next Friday, 10 a.m. Um, do, do join us. Share this with your mates. That would be great. Feet together. Bow. Well done, guys. Right, now, as I said, this is a brand new system. I'm working on to turn you off. Is that touch screen? Oh, no, it's not, is it? <laughs> well done. Well done. Yeah. Dad, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know.